Howdy friends, welcome to your Thursday edition of Hot News. We got the latest and greatest tech news that's out on the internet for you, including the fact that AMD just wants to change the game of literally everything in the entire world. Samsung probably should have told Quibi about this new invention before they shut down, and Amazon finally bought an airplane. We're gonna get into all of that after we talk about today's video sponsor, Chirp. I just picked that up with my foot. You're welcome. The Chirp wheel is something that I use daily for stretching my back and making sure that my back feels as good as it can be and I'm as spry as a spring chicken as opposed to a fall chicken. As you can see the Chirp Wheel Plus is a wheel that relieves back pain by massaging deeply into your muscles because it fits between your shoulder blades and features a spinal canal which keeps your spine safe. It helps to correct poor posture, it elongates your spine and increases your back's mobility and core strength. It's also a class one FDA registered medical device and you can use your FSA and HSA savings in order to purchase one in case that interests you. It comes in three different sizes and they all have different use cases and it can support up to 500 pounds. And right now for a new year sale, Chirp has $10 off on all orders on their site. So check it out at the link in the video description. Make your back feel better with this. I've actually been surprised by the response to this ad. We've had so many people sign up for it. It's been insane. So thank you guys for supporting Chirp. If you've been on the the fence maybe instead get on the wheel and with that terrible terrible dad joke let's move in to what's not terrible amd just trying to destroy every semblance of hope that anybody could ever have that intel might come back that nvidia might stand a chance in the future because we have new patents that have been filed over the holiday season this specific one that we're going to talk about right now is a chiplet patent for gpus that was filed on december 31st Essentially, the idea is that if GPUs get too big, we're gonna have to find ways to actually mitigate some of the speed losses that come from them being a larger size, which AMD got rid of when it came to the CPUs by implementing a chiplet architecture on Ryzen, which has actually helped a lot. But you can see here that they're now filing patents in order to do it with GPUs. This includes giving a last level cache to each GPU chiplet, as opposed to LLC that's combined for the entire GPU. So AMD has been working on this for a while and they think that they can do it with hot band with passive cross links as well as a bunch of other stuff that they've indicated in the patent but it does look like amd is looking towards the future and they think chiplets are indeed the way to go for nearly everything that they're going to be implementing but not only did we get a gpu patent we also got a cpu patent that just came out a couple of days ago and this was for a cpu design that features fpga core integrated elements and an fpga in case you're not familiar is a field programmable array which essentially means instead Instead of it being able to do one thing, this processor, it can do anything you program it to do. Whereas most processors that you find are simply tied down to doing one specific thing, even though as an end user, it looks like it's doing a million different things. So the patent claims a whole bunch of stuff that can be benefited by having an FPGA integrated on to the CPU. And one of the reasons this is a big deal is because AMD recently acquired Zilinx, which will allow them to actually integrate Zilinx technology into the CPUs. And one of the ways they're gonna get faster is by not just offloading specialized things to specialized accelerators, but also potentially offloading those to FPGAs. It's very clear AMD is not sitting on their butt. Dr. Lisa Su is leading this company to the future. She always talks about in her keynotes that one of the things she does as a CEO is not just place bets on what's happening right now, but rather what's going to be the technology they should have invested in that will come to fruition five years from now. And this seems to be in line with that Intel, Nvidia, they are going to have rough seasons if they're not also putting their fire to the pyre that worked. <laughs> More AMD stuff though, we've got listings of the Ryzen 7 5700G and 5980HX, which are likely going to be APUs that we're expecting to get announced next week at the CES keynote that they're gonna be doing, as well as a leaked die shot of the 5700G APU, which looks like it's a little bit bigger than the Renoir APU, which would make me happy. I want one, I want one. I just got my 4750G, I don't care. I'll swap it out for a 5700G. I don't just give it to me. Which is what consumers have been saying about AMD, because according to past market, data, it looks like AMD briefly passed Intel in desktop market share for just a little bit. You can see the last time they did that was back in 2005. So AMD gaining more market share when it comes to desktop processors, but they're not exactly there when it comes to other things such as laptops, servers, and then all CPUs. They're
there's still quite a big disparity. However, Intel is looking to pull away yet again in the desktop market. And we have some more confirmation this time from Gigabyte that the 11th gen chips that we're expecting to get announced next week won't be coming out until March. The latest 11th gen Intel core processors will be launched on March 2021. That's what it says. But Intel launched its RealSense ID facial authentication technology, which essentially you can view this as something that you put on a piece of thing and then it acts like Apple's face ID on basically everything, which is kind of neat, but also really scary because of privacy things and they're scanning my face all the time. So you gotta figure out how to do that. But Intel saying that all the processing takes place locally and the system is only activated when prompted by a user. So hopefully it won't get leaked and people don't get to do whatever they want with my schnoz. Speaking of Intel and AMD and Apple, uh, let's just throw a Tesla in there. Yeah, there's one guy used to work for all of them. Jim Keller announces that he is joining Tens Torrent as the president and chief technology officer, as well as board member. Tens Torrent is apparently an AI company that he looks to spearhead into the future. We'll see what that brings, but it does seem like anything Jim Keller has touched has turned to gold. He was on the team that worked on Ryzen. He was on the team that came out with AMD's big CPU launches back when they took market share. That was kind of Jim Keller's thing. So he's a big deal and we'll see what big things are coming from him in the near future. But let's shift over to small things that go really wide because we've been waiting on Apple to launch their AirTags, which use their UW1 chip ultra wideband to get the ability to find whatever you want, wherever you want without having to rely on Bluetooth. Well, it looks like Tile might be coming out with those first with a patent that they filed and it looks like they should be coming out with an ultra wideband based personal item tracker sometime this year. And sometime this year was the perfect time for Amazon to decide to buy a plane, which I know sounds weird, especially since they have Prime Air, which is their cargo fleet company, but apparently they've been leasing them this entire time. They have purchased 11 planes and they're gonna continue to maybe do that instead of leasing them. Hopefully they don't put a lid on the amount of planes that they could have. I love to see a sky full of Prime Air just instant shipping. They're just a bunch of planes flying around, dropping stuff off. So no lids on the amount of planes, Amazon. But Gilid, Gilid, I'm not sure how to say this, but it is a form of lid, has announced their new ARGB sleeved extension cables, which appear to have some sort of, I'm not sure if I'm, this is the right terminology, but like crosshatch pattern to them for the RGB. I actually really, really like this as opposed to what Lee and Lee has got going on. Not that that one's bad, but this is a nice little diffusing and it's, it's pretty. That's a lot of cables though. And there's gonna be a lot of LEDs in your TV soon. Samsung at CES showing off their 4K and 8K Neo QLED TVs, which are powered by mini LED. No release date, no price tag. Just kind of showing it off because that's what CES is for, but nobody's there in person to actually ding look at it. And we can tell that Quibi never looked at this TV because Samsung announcing that their new frame TV can rotate between portrait and landscape mode if you buy the 43 inch model. Somebody tell Quibi now they can resurrect and get all of their content on TV in the way that it's meant to be viewed because you can watch it in portrait and landscape. Samsung, you bought it. They waited. They waited until Quibi was dead to roll this out because I bet you Samsung's planning their own. They're, they're gonna buy the license to the turnstile technology aren't you? Samsung, I'm onto you. I'm watching you. I know what you're planning, okay? You took Quibi from us, and for this, I will thank you gladly. Good day, sir. Speaking of streaming services, Netflix won't be available on your 3DS or Wii U as of June 30th because Nintendo is taking them off, but they have no plans on adding it to the Switch, so... Uh... Stop using your 3DS for Netflix, I guess. And stop buying so many dang apps. Apple came out and said that they had a record year when it came to app sales over the holiday season. $540 million on New Year's Day alone and $1.8 billion between Christmas Eve and New Year's Eve. Holy crap, that's just a lot of money. Do you know how much I've spent on apps in the last, I don't know, since I've had a smartphone? Maybe, maybe $100 if you include my subscription services for like, Cloud storage, maybe $200 if we're including cloud storage. Total, in like a decade. Why are you guys buying so many apps? But one thing to note is that Fortnite hasn't been on there and they're achieving record numbers. You thought that Apple needed Epic Games? Oh, no, 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 no. Epic Games wants to play, but they're playing with the big dog. You know what the big dog has to say? Woof. And this small dog right here says that you should go check out Chirp because ah, 
their today's video sponsor and it'll help relieve your back. Check them out, the link in the video description, my friends. And while you're on that side of the YouTubes, hit the like button, get subscribed to Hot News. For more tech news, we're be gonna be back at you tomorrow with the last episode of the week on Friday. We do Tuesday through Friday here in case you didn't get the schedule from how things are being released. Anyways, I'm Brett, you've been newsed. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you in the next one, bye. Samsung stole Quibi from us.